Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Redhead Boo here, back with a new video. So my last video that I filmed was my Vamps tour vlog, I think. Um, so technically there has already been a video this week, but I just thought because I've got a day off work, which I feel like I haven't had a day off now in such a long time, um, because I am literally so, so, so busy at work and it's going really well and yeah. So I thought I'd do a little quick, short video. I don't think it'll be very long at all because one of my friends who has been a massive support network for me for the past month now, um, for personal reasons that I don't really want to go into um, and like just off my channel in general and always like gives me some ideas if I'm a bit stuck on what type of content I want to put on my channel and I just wanted to give this person a shout out because Ria honestly you're such an amazing friend and I really do appreciate the support that you give the channel in particular and me so yeah, I just thought I'd do something special because I know you watch a lot of my videos. So yeah, um, today I am going to be filming a, another collection video because I collect quite a variety of different things. So I collect pins, Funko Pops, plushies. I feel like I'm forgetting something, sort of wristbands. Um, why am I forgetting some? Oh, spirit jerseys. And obviously you all know how much of a Disney fan I am. I mean, if you can't tell from the hoodie and all of the Disney content on my channel. Um, I never really expected to start collecting these items and you can probably see them in the background. <laughs> but if you're a Disney fan, you might know of a certain bag company called Loungefly. Now, they don't just do Disney bags. They do Harry Potter, um, like Universal types, like Jurassic Park, Jaws, Stranger Things. Um, they do every single, like, anything that's to do with a franchise, like Disney, Harry Potter, so-and-so, like they create these incredible bags which are the most cutest things ever they're not very big that's my only thing i'll say however i have taken my bags on like disney cruises disneyland paris and like if i'm going out on a little day out to yorkshire wildlife park i'll take one and I just find that they're perfect, just a nice perfect little bag and so many people always compliment me on my bags and yeah I just thought I would show them off on YouTube Um, yeah I just never thought I would ever get a lounge fly bag and I have four now so yeah it's dangerous but I love each and every bag that I own so I think I'm going to get started because this is a super long intro and I apologise but the first one I've got I believe I got it oh, was it Christmas 2020 from my mum um, and I am quite obsessed with Stitch and especially like the Lilo and Stitch films I adore them and I originally wanted the Elvis Stitch bag However, when my mum came to ordering it, it went out of stock and she obviously wanted to get me a stitch bag because she knew how much I adored stitch and I still do. And she got me the Experiment 626 style bag, which I think is really, really cute. I have used this so many times, so it has got a bit worn, wear and tear, but I just think it's so cute like it's one of the cosplay bags I want to say 
because sometimes you get like the characters in like costumes and there's such a variety of bags out there for like any single type of like Disney fan or any fan of like geeky stuff I guess I don't know what the word is but yeah I just think this bag is super super cute I do think this was one of the more pricier bags I mean it's not the most expensive I've got believe me but it's still cute and I use this bag so much and I took it on the Disney magic with me in 2021 because I think yeah I think it was 2020 because I wanted a bag to take on the magic with me and this one was just perfect so yeah and it's just cute and I took it to I want to say I took it to Lanzarote as well yeah I think I did I think I used it as my like plain bag um like my travel bag and I just think it's really cute and it was perfect on the magic because like the amount of characters that would interact with it, um, especially I think it was Spider-Man and Thor, both gave me like interactions to do with the bag. So yeah, it's a special one to me. Now the next one was so cheap <laughs> um i got this bag which is my chippendale bag if you've watched any of my videos from my disneyland paris series that i did in february you might recognize this bag because i took this one and the one i'll show next to disney and the main reason for taking this getting this one was because i wanted to show chip and dale it because they are like my favourite, well, they are my favourite Disney duo to exist. And I love this bag so much. And I actually got it on Facebook on a lounge fly group that I'm in. And I just put, um, I'm looking into getting a bag for my birthday and I don't really want to spend a lot. And I put like loads of photos of like ones that I knew I wanted, like my dream bags. And someone commented saying they had this exact bag that they won, that they bought in a mystery box. And they didn't really like the bag, so they wanted to sell it. And they offered me, I think it was £40 for it, which I don't think was a bad price at all. I, like I say, I just adore this bag so, so much and I have wore this so often and I just think it's super cute because like Chippendale is very autumnal so I think it's perfect for this coming season and yeah, it's just cute, so cute. So yeah, I will always adore this bag and I will wear it whenever I can right the next bag is probably one of my favorites it's not my favorite because my latest one is probably my favorite and it's this bag i believe i bought this for myself last christmas i want to say because i again because i was going to disneyland paris i wanted a donald and daisy bag and I, I wasn't sure which Donald bag that I wanted. I was looking into the cruise Donald one because it has him in his cruise outfit. And obviously because I've met him in that outfit, I thought that'd be quite cute. And the fact that we were staying at Newport Bay, I thought it'd be ideal. However, I came across this bag on, was it Geek Core? Geek Core, the UK site, um, and this bag was on sale at, I want to say it was £52 something, I think, and I bought it using Clearpay, so I only paid like a small amount and then did it every so, like every month, 
and I adore this bag and I just thought again it was perfect because my Disneyland Paris trip was quite close to Valentine's Day and I just thought because of like the love heart, the arrows, Donald and Daisy, them kissing, I just thought it was perfect to take with me and I did get to show Donald and Daisy it and I actually showed Daisy it on Stars on Parade on the first day we were there and she started blowing me loads of kisses and just got very excited. So yeah, I love this bag so much. I just love the colour as well, like blue is one of my favourite colours other than purple. So yeah, now the final bag I am going to show is the most expensive bag I have ever bought. It is the also the cutest bag I think I will ever own and I just love it. I haven't actually used it yet because I don't want it to get ruined because it is white and that scares me a bit. <laughs> so yeah, but I think I'm just going to have to show because it is the cutest bag ever. This is my new Mickey and Friends Disney lounge fly. Not only that, it includes Chip and Dale. Now, my all-time favourite Disney characters are the Mickey and Friends gang, with Chip and Dale included, because I include them in Mickey and Friends. And the fact that they're all on there, like every single character, and then they're all on the back as well, just whack myself in the face with my bag, why don't I? <laughs> And it's just so colourful and this is going to be the bag that I take to Disneyland Paris when I go back in February. I cannot wait to wear it and show all of the characters. Hopefully on this bag I'll get to meet every single one. Um, so yeah, I just think this bag is just the cutest and... I knew I sort of wanted a bag with Goofy on. Um, I was looking into the Goofy and Max Disney 100 bag. However, when I found this on Amazon, I did spend quite a bit of money on it. However, it was worth it. I am so glad I decided to buy it and I cannot wait to wear it and show it off and yeah, because I don't know how long it's going to be made available in the UK. So I'm so lucky to have managed to get it because I didn't think I would. And yeah, I just love it. I just think it's really cute. And this is by far my favourite bag I own. So yeah, I just think it's really cute. And all of the characters look so cute on it as well. So yeah. But anyway, that was today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it and if you are a fellow loungefly collector or you want to start collecting loungefly like let me know because maybe I can offer advice maybe I can let you all know where the best places to find loungefly are and anything else I can help people with I'm always here but yeah, I just hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Turn on the bell and you'll be notified every time I upload new content. But for now, this is Redhead Boo signing off. Bye!